You know, we all make mistakes. I've made plenty, but we all deserve a second chance, or three or four. Well, here's a place that's reclaiming wood, reclaiming lives, and making the world a much better place. I'm talking about Urban Ashes in Saline, a picture frame manufacturer and custom furniture builder that opened its doors to former prisoners, gave them a way to survive and thrive, and is now becoming known around the world. In 2009, Paul Hickman had a vision to stop wasting resources, and the two he picked were wood and people. You know, a lot of companies are concerned mainly with the bottom line. When did you decide to give your company a heart and a soul? Uh, before we even started it. Really? Yeah, it started during the peak of the Emerald Ash Borg. And so we came up with the idea of picture frames. And one of the guys that I originally worked with on this, uh, a guy named Jason Bing, and we started talking about this, oh, we gotta come up with a brand or something that we can scale. And he's the one who threw out and said, yeah, it needs to focus on people with barriers to employment. And he was talking about returning citizens, uh, people coming out of the prison system, coming Re back. Yeah. Reclaiming people. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I knew a lot about working with salvage wood. I've been doing that since the early 90s. So I had a lot in that realm, and that was always kind of my focus initially. And the people part of it, Jason brought to the table. Obviously, we want to sell as many frames and, and furnishings as, as possible, but my goal is to get the general public and other businesses to start adopting these practices because we've got huge numbers of people. Uh, we have over two million people uh, incarcerated in this country right now. Over 90% of them are gonna come home at some point. What are we doing with them? What kind of feedback do you get from these, from them on what this place is doing for them, or what you're doing for them? I'm gonna let you ask them that. I, I hear it all the time, but it, I'm always a little uncomfortable uh, answering for them. Well, if you really want to know if Paul's business mantra for mankind is making a difference, just talk to the guys who are working hard to help him make it happen. Like our motto is saving trees and saving lives. And, you know, I don't even think Paul really knows the impact he has on all of us that come here and like are struggling to find a job because of our past. And, you know, he's given everybody that second chance that when he has time to hire people, that's who he's looking for, and he's wanting to help other people and salvage people just like he's salvaging wood, you know, and it, it's a great experience. It's definitely given me a lot of opportunities, but the thing about opportunities is I believe everybody always have a surmountable amount of opportunities. The, the, the thing comes in two, two parts of that equation. One, do you know what to do with the opportunities when you face with them? And two, um, can you even recognize the opportunities that's available and that's there? Working on the wood is a lot like working on myself. So a lot of this wood was tossed out, stuff people don't want to use, yet it has a lot of properties to it. It, it. It's beautiful, there's a lot of strange kinks in it that make it work wonders when it's finished. And I mean, not, to, not at all trying to brag about myself, but in a similar way, I was trying to throw myself out. And here I am. And I'm not finished by any means, but I'm definitely getting to a good place. You know, forgiveness is a wonderful thing, but combine it with something special made from reclaimed and beautifully restored wood, and you've got a great place to break bread with any and all kinds of people. And let's face it, isn't that what life's really all about?